hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop updates on rather mohan tussie spirit tells herself that she has to save gungun at any cost that she doesn't care if her family gets to know about her presence she tries to hold the snake but fails and wonders why her power is not working gungun asks rather to do something before the snake bites her rather asks her to stay strong Tusi Spirit asks Gungun to not get scared because Mohan would save her. Mohan tells her that Gungun is moving in fear and says they have to distract Gungun. That's this. Okay. Rada starts telling a story to Gungun. That means scolds her for telling stories at this time. Mohan tells Rada is trying to distract Gungun and asks Sheka to find something to throw at the snake. Sheka points at the carpet. Mohan takes carpet and throws on the snake. Rada and Mohan drags Gungun towards them. They fall on the sofa. Damini gets angry seeing their position. Kadambari thinks they look like a perfect family. Kaveri screams and says they should call Safira. Gungun scolds Mohan for saving her late. Mohan tells she's like him for sure, that he should have not saved her. Rada asks them not to fight. Dolari brings milk for his snake. Mohan says rescue team is coming to take the snake. The rescue team comes there. Rescue officer asks Mohan to not get scared. Mohan tells him he's not scared. But it's precaution. He shows the carpet to him and says the snake is under the carpet. Rescue team takes the carpet, but snake is missing. Everyone wonders where the snake went. Kadambari asks rescue team to check the house. Rescue team searches the house. Mohan asks rescue team if they found the snake. Kaveri tells Damini that the snake helped Mohan and Radha to get close. Mohan asks Gungun to come to his lap, but Gungun refuses, gets off from Radha's lap. Rescue team tells Mohan that the snake is in. Is not in the house and asks him to call them if he sees the snake again. Rather asks rescue team if they checked the house well. They said yes, they did. Later, Mohan plays flute so Gungun can sleep. Gungun falls asleep. Mohan bends to kiss on Gungun's forehead and Rada keeps her head on Gungun's forehead. He kisses Rada's hand and tells he did not see her hand. Rada asks him to take rest in his room, says that the snake would have left the house. He holds her hand, she feels shy. He beats her with the flute and says Gungun was right. Rada asks what Gungun said and wonders if Gungun told him, told him about the drawing. He tells her cheek is becoming red nowadays. She asks him to go to his room. He leaves from there. She asks God what's happening with her and wonders why Mohan's presence is affecting her. Does the spirit tells that she is in love. Mohan enters his room, decides to take Radha to the doctor, falls on the bed, gets shot seeing the snake beside him, screams in fear. Radha asks what happened. He tells the snake is on his bed. She gets scared hearing him and asks him to open the door. He tells he can't move now. She tells she would do something. He talks to the snake in fear, pleads to the snake to leave from there. She enters the room through the window and asks him not to move and tells to call rescue team. He tells his phone is not with him. He asks her to sing so snake can leave. She glares at him and thinks she has to do something before the snake bites him. She picks the snake and throws it and gets on the bed, holds him in fear. They share an eye lock. It scolds her for taking risk and tells that her cheek is becoming red again, that he will take her to the doctor and reminds her the snake is still in the house. They see the snake. She tells the snake is seeing them. They ask each other to do something. He notices the window and tells they can escape through the window. She's about to fall and he holds her. They escape through the window. He tells that the snake was so small they should not have got scared of it. They reach the garden. She tries to run to escape from rain. She asks him to not get drenched. He tells that it's just a rain. She runs from there. He asks her to enjoy in the rain. She wonders why she feels something seeing his smile and things when he became more special than God. She asks God to help her to find what's happening with her and moves towards him, gets drenched in the rain and is about to fall and hold her. He tells he's feeling peace after many years and says it looks like he got everything and he doesn't want anything else. That everything happened because of her. He won't regret even if he dies now. She closes his mouth. He says he wants to live with her and Gungun. Snake bites him. She notices the snake and he tells she gave new life to him, loses his consciousness and falls. Brother asks everyone to come out and asks Mohan to get up. He asks her to take care of Gungun. She tells they will take care of Gungun together. He loses consciousness again. She tells she can't leave if anything happened to him. That she has to get up to live with her and Gungun. She cries, recalls the moment she shared with him, tells he can't die like this. That she has something important to tell him and asks if he doesn't want to hear Radha's love confession. She tells him to open his eyes, that she wants it, 
a chance to say what's in her heart and ask if he's there in her. She tells she loves him so much that she can't even live a second without him and pleads it with him to open his eyes. She says she loves him like how God is rather loved Lord Krishna. She tells him she loves him more than she loves Lord Krishna and tells he's alive. That means he hears everything and gets angry at Radha. That's how dare Radha love Lord Mohan that she won't spare Radha. She decides to punish Radha for loving Mohan. Radha ties Mohan's leg to stop poison from spreading on his body. Daphne wonders why Mohan is lying on the floor like that and thinks Radha would have done something. Moves towards Radha with weapon. Radha takes blood out of Mohan's body. Daphne realizes what happened, drops the weapon and asks Mohan to get up. Radha tells Mohan she won't let anything happen to him. Daphne asks her to stay away from Mohan. Radha tells the snake beat Mohan and asks her to bring someone for help. Daphne wonders what she should do and gets panicked calls her family to come out. Radha feels dizzy while taking poison out of Mohan's body and asks Damni to handle herself. Tells her nothing will happen to Mohan and asks her to bring someone. Damni goes inside the house. Mohan takes Radha's name. Damni stops hearing him. Mohan opens his eyes. She smiles seeing that. Radha thanks God for saving Mohan. Mohan asks Radha what she's telling him. Damni thinks she can't let Radha confess her love to Mohan and hopes Radha doesn't say anything and wonders what she would do if Mohan accepts Radha's love. Radha tries to say something but faints. Damni gets relieved seeing that and hopes Radha dies. Mohan sees the blood and understands what Radha did and asks her to open her eyes. Tells Damni to call the doctor. Damni asks if he is fine. He asks her not to worry about him. She thinks she won't call the doctor and goes inside. Doctor examines Radha. Mohan asks what about Radha's condition. Doctor tells Radha put her life in danger to save his life. He says tonight is very critical that Radha should regain her consciousness. He asks him to take care of Radha. Mohan nods at him because how Radha tried to tell something to him.